again. This is Gina from HauntedFlower.com and HauntedFlowerReviews.com to do an anime review for Naruto Shippuden Part 4. Now, if you haven't watched Part 3, then there may or may not be spoilers in my review, but I'm going to try and keep them to the absolute minimum. As you remember, we left off where Naruto and his team were about to meet Orochimaru again. And that happens, and Naruto's feeling a little bit foxy, and it gets a little bit intense. And, of course, since Sasuke's on the cover, it should be no surprise that eventually, within this set, you get to see Sasuke again. Also, there's a lot of drama over whether Sai, the other new member of their team, is going to be loyal to them or not. There's lots of flip-flopping going on, and you get to play a lot within the underground labyrinth of Orochimaru's lair, which you saw very briefly in part one of the series. If I have to complain about anything, I would say that it felt like it took forever to get to Sasuke. We had lots of flashbacks going on and lots of things that were really stretched out and I'm like, please, can we get there before the end of this last disc? Come on. My impatience aside, this is a pretty good set. And for special features, it has a voice actor featurette for who's playing who. And it introduces several of the voice actors within the series and demonstrates them playing their parts. And then puts you up with a little quiz where you can hear the audio of a voice actor voicing a character but it's a different one than the usual one, and you have to guess who is playing who. I ended up with an 80% out of 100, and it's actually really easy until actors start playing multiple parts. There's also an interactive character relations chart for the Hidden Sound Village if you're into charts and production art. So check it out. I'm waiting for part five, which I believe is being released in January. So you'll have to wait until then for another Naruto Shippuden Part 5 review. See you next time! Shameless plug! Don't forget to see all of my reviews and videos of me on the Rotten Tomatoes show at hauntedflowerreviews.com. Also check out our store, hauntedflower.com, the web's best source for fantastic apparel. You can follow us on Twitter at haunted underscore flower or fan our Facebook page too. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes. I'm a good